It's not good. Eight. So suddenly it has become a little air strewn. Marks LV8. Yeah, but in a way, it's, uh, it's it's good to see, you know, after all the titles, Marks LV's won, world titles, Masters, UK Championships. It's just an indication of how much it means to win any tournament on the Pro Tour. Just feeling it for the first time in this final. here if he's playing the cross double safety shot must avoid the double kiss on the way back yeah just about managed it being on the cue boy and off and that's okay uh, pretty decent effort from there would have been pretty happy I would have thought with where he left the table left the cue ball he won't be happy now see that red disappear and he'll be even more unhappy when he gets out of his chair because he's going to be tight behind the green Mark Selby won so Mark Selby turning the screw here wasn't clinical with his two scoring chances but you know he's going to make it as difficult as possible for Joe O'Connor. Looks like he's decided on the two cushion escape. Clip the red thin back up to bulk. It's a lovely shot when it comes off, but catches this red too thick you're going to leave the cue ball in the middle of the table just like that so he's left Mark Selby choice of reds here red for the rest or oh, red up into the yellow pocket. Neither is easy, but it's a chance nonetheless. Yeah, mistakes have crept in to this frame, so nothing's guaranteed for sure. Has he got one good pot in him to set up another chance to win it? He certainly does. So this is chance number three then in this frame. You'd have felt good knocking that in, I'm sure.
beautiful shot. Played that with just a trace Five. of reverse sides when it hit the side cushion. The angle just widened, bringing him down closer to this red. Now assuming the black pots into left corner. So a quick look at the scoreboard. 11 ahead. Takes blacks off these two reds. It'd be 27 ahead with 27 remaining. So going to need the yellow. And it's not Six. in a bad position when you think he's going to be playing the black off the last red. So this clear opportunity for Mark Selby to win the title right here. And make no mistake, this is a hard tournament to win. Matches are short. The 13. winner's group was stacked with talent. Joe O'Connor has played so well to get to the final at the expense of some real big hitters. It's a tournament you really... 14. If you win it, you've really earned it. Selby's two pots away. It's just about ideal. 21. So this yellow then. I think Joe O'Connor needing snookers. In it goes. And he's nicely 23. on the green just to make extra sure. So well done, Mark Selby. He played fantastic the last two days. And also well done, Joe O'Connor. Tremendous performance to get to the final. 26. And a great tournament. And a worthy winner in Mark Selby. Yeah, Joe, alongside me, won the first Championship League way back in 2008. Who did he beat in the final? Mark Selby, who then lost to Judd Trump the following year. 30. But has finally got his hands on the Championship League trophy. And this could be a springboard now for the rest of the season as we continue the run into the World Championship. Mark Selby, An all Leicester 30, affair Joe, here in the city of Leicester has been won by Mark Selby. He beats Joe O'Connor by three frames to one to win the 2024 Bet Victor Championship League. Sounds good. Uh, you know, I felt like I played OK over, over the last two days. I played some good stuff, scored majority of the time when I got my chances, and uh, my all-round game was good. So, yeah, happy with the way I played. Forget April in Paris. What about Leicester in March? You won the WSD Classic here last year, the yeah. same month, and now this. They're going to the champion of champions. It's a big deal. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, it was a tough group. You had some great players in it. Joe's obviously done brilliant to get to the get to the final. You know, after yesterday, he'd played three games and only won one, so it wasn't looking great. But today, he's played some good stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was nice to, to get the win. But even if I didn't win, you know, if there was anyone who I was going to lose to, I'd have been chuffed for Joe if he'd have won as well. I believe you've known him since he's been about nine or ten years old. Yeah, I have, yeah. The club I used to go to, the 147 club, uh, we used to play county pool there as well. And Joe used to come in all the while and play pool and it wasn't until, I don't know, I'd, he was sort of a late developer playing snooker, you know, but I mean, eight ball he was brilliant and now snooker he is as well. 21 centuries in this tournament overall, seven in this group. You're rounding into form at just the right time with the World Open, the World Championship coming up. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I feel like I'm playing some good stuff at the moment. Uh, I played okay in, in Telford, you know, played good against Ronnie and, and he just lost out to Ander. Uh, Saudi, I sort of threw the match away against Mark, but. Coming back here, I sort of carried on where I left off from Telford, so happy with the way I'm playing at the moment. You're approaching almost 40 professional titles now, but this one means quite a lot, especially on home soil. Yeah, I mean, like you say, I know there's no crowd, but I mean, it's still really competitive and so cutthroat, you know, best of five. It's a spin of a coin, especially the standard of snooker you're playing against the players. Uh, so to, to win in Leicester is obviously a great feat for, for myself and, and, and same for any Leicester player like Joe and all the other boys as well. Having been so close, the first two years of the tournament, you lost in the final in 2008 and again the following year. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, Phil. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to get this one. Third time lucky to say, I suppose, eh? 
the champion of champion awaits. So does that trophy. Give it a lift. Cheers, Phil. Thank you. Dave, that's it now from the table side. Mark Selby's just about to lift up the trophy and begin his celebrations. Yes, congratulations to Mark Selby. A terrific uh, performance all round, all those centuries that Phil mentioned. And there, that's what it's all been about, that trophy. Mark Selby.